Hello, this is Stuart from Trade Classics, and we are in a 1969 um, Lancia Fulvi rally with Tony here, who is the owner. So yes. Um, now, um, my intention is to start this car and drive it round the block. If anything goes wrong, you'll never hear from me again. <laughs> Oops. That was close. Right. Yeah, here we go. Right, just check, we've got petrol, off we go. Yeah. So, see, we're just we're just going around Pollock Shields. One thing I'm going to try is just how nice this gearbox is, because it just slinks in every time. It's a uh, uh, four-speed, isn't it? It's a four-speed. Yeah. Um, just get the, the bit where it bottoms yeah. on the hill. Yeah. All of our cars do that. It's, uh, uh -huh. it's yeah, got it's a, a horrible steep clamber. Thing. Yeah. So that just slides in like that. Yeah. And we'll tweak around the corner here. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, so how long have you owned the car? Bought it in 2004. Uh huh. And, and uh, I had been driving a uh, Fiat Cinquecento. And uh, I'd had a, a Lancia Fulvia many years ago, but I'd, we'd had a Cinquecento, which the family had. And I can't remember where we were going, but my wife and I driving somewhere and I was driving and I was cursing a lot I was swearing a lot about how much I hated this bloody car and eventually in exasperation my wife said to me is there any car you really would like to drive I said yes I want my bloody Lancia back she said well go and find one on eBay then so I did and I went on eBay that afternoon and this car was there and there's a wee learner driver so we'll just gently stop let him pass. Okay. Um, so this car was on eBay and it was 600 miles away so I, there was no chance of me having a look at it or anything. Actually we'll go down and we'll go down and we'll go around it a wee bit. Um, yeah. well, we'll have to do an on-road video as well just yeah. you know just a bit silent let people hear for knocks and things like yeah. that so yeah. Um, um, so I decided to bid for the car, but I, I still wasn't sure. So it came to within 10 minutes of the closing and I was doing a radio program at the time. So I got the listeners to phone in and vote on whether I should bid for the car or not. I know the you going to say no. <laughs> well, actually, six of them said, don't do it. Uh -huh. But everybody else said, <laughs> buy it. <laughs> and uh, I bid an extra 50 quid or whatever it was and I got it. Cool. And that was the start of the journey because I then spent, oh, about 10 years doing it up, along with Greg from Classic Cars and other Um Because when I first got it, there were one or two little flaws in it. The brakes didn't work for a start. It's good time. Uh, first journey I took in it was the one we've just done, and it was a bit scary because absolutely nothing worked. The lights didn't work, the indicators didn't work. Um, but everything works now. Yeah. Yep. Tell them about the dashboard. Oh, the dashboard. Well, I didn't really like the... Uh, the original dashboard in this car was um, uh, a little wood veneer on plastic, and I always hated that. So I had a new dashboard made out of solid... Uh, what is that? Wood. Uh, walnut, isn't it? Walnut, yes, yes, thank you. That's the word. Solid walnut. Yeah, and the and the well, you've done quite a lot with the interior of the car, isn't it? Because this is all single hide, real leather. Single hide, real leather. Um, brand new carpets, brand new head, um, whatever you call it, head covering. Yeah. Um, everything really. We we stripped everything out, and the first uh, the first attempt at the seats, uh, Greg wasn't happy with the leather, and so they stripped it all off and did it again. Mm -hmm. so, I'm afraid we got a bit obsessive with some of it. Yes, well, that, that would lead us on to the paint, wouldn't it? Which uh... Paint, well, when I bought it, it had been resprayed in Ford Silver, and that was, that was something of an offence to my eyes. So we um, stripped it right back down to the original metal, um, reprimered it, and at colossal expense, we brought in original Lancia paint, silver paint from Italy. And uh, it was a ridiculous cost, but it was well worth it. Uh, let's just go down and turn. Okay. <laughs> I 
Yeah. Don't worry about this bit. Look away now. Test of a clean car. Is Look away wash, now, Send it through the washing and then see if your wife complains. <laughs> now that's very sexist because I'm oh. the one who does the washing. Oh, sorry, yes. Okay. Uh, yes, but we'll... Um, In front of us is the garage where it's been living. It's a part of the house and it's got central heating. So the car has actually been rather spoiled uh, in as much as it's had a nice home. Let's go through the washing again. <laughs> Perfect, yes. So um, with that, um, do, do you want to walk around the car a little bit and show some of the stuff off? Or are yeah. you happy just to end the video there? Okay. Uh, we'll just do a wee bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, I want to show the paint because we talked about the paint. Oh. Right, viewers. Uh, a minute. So this is just a continuation of uh, meet the owner just while we go on the outside of the car. Um, you know, because we have this original Lancia paint that was imported. Yeah. Um, so, so this is the this is this is Lancia silver. I have to say, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure I could really tell the difference between the Ford silver and the Lancia silver, except there was just a kind of warmth about the Lancia. But it just offended me knowing that it was Ford silver, so that's why, why we changed it. Um, there had been some damage originally, it had been in a shunt of some sort. The car originally belonged to a GP on the Isle of Wight, so he'd spent most of his time driving round and round the island. But at some point this door had been hit, so this door was replaced. You do have a, a working key for the door, it's not the same as the original. It's not the same, so yeah. there's one key for this door and one key for that uh -huh. door. Um, and, and with that you do have just a couple of... And, and this, this door hung very badly when we bought it. Um, and we spent a long time working on the, on the hinges. You can see that we actually replaced the hinges so that it would uh, close properly. <laughs> because originally you had to lift it up and... Uh, that was replaced, that was replaced, and that was replaced. So you've actually got a nice, clean, new interior to the boot, uh, which is quite nice. And we've also got a spare hubcap. Do you know what happens to hubcaps, don't you? <laughs> well, uh, just in case it happens, there's the spare. Uh, got a spare number plate as well, if you ever need it. Um, it's a lovely car. I yep. don't, I don't really want to sell it. <laughs> but the reason I'm selling it is we're selling the house and we're going away to live somewhere else, and it's a somewhere else where sadly there's not going to be any room for this car. Mm -hmm. I shall miss it. Thank you. Thank you very much.